this video we will see the property of z transform in the time reversal property okay so definition says if x of n is a signal z transform of that is x of z then x of minus n only difference is there that we have time reversal so reversal of this time is x of minus n so z transform of that is x of 1 by z or in other words you can write x of z power minus n minus 1 sorry no minus 1 okay it's the same thing now we will go by the standard definition proof standard z transform of this x of n what is that it is nothing but equal to x of z correct right which is equal to we have the formula summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z power minus n this is the standard formula for x of z which is nothing but the trans z transform of x of n now we have to find out the z transform of this correct so z transform of x of minus n now that will be equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity in place of x of n i have to put x of minus n z power minus n rest all remains the same now here we have to do one substitution method so what you have to substitute in place of minus n i will substitute some other variable l m anything you can take i will take m okay so putting put n sorry minus n equal to m so what will be n n will be equal to minus n correct n will be equal to minus n so now what will happen see here this summation will change the summation n equal to minus infinity but here it is minus m so minus m equal to minus infinity here also infinity is, is it's actually n equal to minus infinity to n equal to infinity right so it will be minus m equal to infinity okay n is nothing but minus m into x of minus n is m i m z power minus n sorry uh, n will have to change minus of what is n n is nothing but minus m okay or otherwise minus m n is nothing but m only okay it's uh, nothing but the same thing minus into minus plus only so what will happen here so the minus minus it cancel okay so this this minus I can take it to this side so what will happen summation m equal to it will be infinity to minus infinity the changes the summation changes here infinity to minus infinity earlier it was minus infinity to infinity now it is x of m z power m minus into minus is plus okay now here observe carefully what you have to write I have to change the the summation so i can directly change the summation into which is equal to summation m equal to minus infinity to infinity why i have to change because i am going to compare it with this standard equation so here you can see n equal to minus infinity to infinity so i have to change the summation so when you change the summation nothing else changes that's the thing okay always remember you can directly change the summation so it is minus infinity to infinity x of m is the z power m is there now the thing is that when you compare this and this okay when you compare this and this equation n is a variable here uh, that means x of n is there so n is there m is there correct z power minus n is there here minus sign is not there in power so i have to bring here minus sign so this i can write it as z power minus 1 whole power minus m correct yeah so I can write it as z power uh, sorry summation of m equal to minus infinity to infinity x of m into z power minus 1 whole power minus m. Now when I compare this with this equation I get to know that see minus m is there here minus n is there z is there here z power minus 1 is there. So this will be equal to x of z power minus 1 correct see x of z is this formula since z we have here so it is x of z but here we have z power minus 1 it will be x of z power minus 1 simple thing x of z z is z here x of z minus 1 z minus 1 is z that's why i have written like this so this is equal to what this thing so z transform of x of minus n equal to what x of z power minus n or in other words i can write it as x of 1 by 7. It's the same thing. So this is the proof.